I'm Jennifer Genlock, I'm a mixed media collage artist, and I've done uh, kind of the drawing aspects in this piece. I'm Susan Feldman, and I work with found wood and uh, rope and string, and I constructed a lot of this. I'm Christine Shoemaker. I'm the curator and I run Shoebox Projects, which is this experimental art space. And I invited uh, Susan and Jennifer to come and collaborate on a site-specific installation. So can we take a little tour? Sure, please. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, walk let's walk through. through. <laughs> so you're now entering the bathroom. The structure. <laughs> Going through um, the forest yeah. and then Going through the door into the kind of special little hidden place, kind of like a child's fort or a tree house. Have yeah. the two of you collaborated before? No. no. What happened was Christine wanted to put us in a show together um, about a year or so ago, I think. Yeah. And um, but it never it never happened. And so when Christine decided to create this space, you can talk about what you. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, that's exactly it. So is, this is the first installation in, yeah. in, a, yeah. in a series of many to come? Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Of different artists. So yeah. we were invited as the first group to inaugurate it. You've never collaborated before, but you were aware of each other's work? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. We, we were fans of each other's work. Fans, Already. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, Already and so kind of subtly knew like what we had in common thematically. How did it start? It started literally with, um, well here, let's finish our tour here. Um, it started with me bringing a bunch of wood to the space and, that I had, because I work with found wood, and I brought a huge pile of my stuff. And when I got here, I realized that I didn't have nearly enough. And so I started going around the brewery collecting wood and I decided that would be something I would do every day, is to get wood from the brewery to incorporate into... So are into you a, resi a brewery resident no, yourself? No, no, so no. Just, like just because just I was working here. here. And, yeah. So it's, so it's very site-specific. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, and Jennifer had already, was working on these pieces on the paper uh, mm. at her studio. And um, so I really, what happened was I thought the first day I need to build like a table or a chair or something for myself to base myself on. And I built this thing that became over here, actually. I thought, well, I, I'm going to, why do I need a table or a chair? Let me just start building. So, so I built this, this, and started from here. Okay. And, um, and, I, and I looked at this area as like the starting point because I also had to have a way to get out of the room. And so I thought, I'll work from the inside out. So that's really how I started working, is just do, you know, building stuff here. Then I built a structure here and connected them, and Jennifer was hanging her work, and I started connecting my pieces to her work. And then I started collaging in images into her piece to kind of like bring my stuff in more. You know, it was like first like I brought in my stuff and, and she started her construction. So it's like two <coughs> separate things, and then the main process was about integrating the two. Even like before we started this, like when we met at your studio mm -hmm. in August, mm -hmm. she showed me all these like pieces of wood, really gorgeous pieces of wood, but then there were some blank, clean plywood sheets. Right. She's like, these are ugly, I hate them. I have nothing to do with them. So I stole them, took them home, and then transferred on them. So when day one, I just kind of dropped them off and then Susan just like integrated them when she started building. Later on in the construction, when she was starting her floor, I just took pieces away, took them home, did the transfer thing, brought them back, and then I started like drawing as well. Pieces of wood have been coming and going all month long. Coming and going. <laughs> there would be a blank space right. like right there, like that's gonna come back. <laughs> Jennifer would actually either put tape down to mark where the pieces came from, or take photos with her phone so she'd remember where they were. The composition. In kind of a Tetris style. You know, yeah. not that Jungle, any of it, none of it I was like cemented down. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. Like I, I joked about, I didn't, I didn't put any museum wax or anything on the bottom of these on the floor. It's like because tomorrow we just pick it all up. And, yeah. But the um, floor was constantly the, shifting. Yeah, the yeah. floor shifts. Yeah. It, it still is. It yeah. is shifting still is. right now. And I love that. You know, as we move around, it it moves and it makes yeah. the noise. Yeah. The sounds. It's are... part of like the interactive, immersive quality of it. Yeah. yeah. When so, so you were fans of each other's work before, but you've never collaborated. Now that you spent this month together, 
what have you learned? What, what was a surprise? I tend to have a very specific way of working, you know, it's kind of 2D thing. And so to bring it into the space, I think was a really nice challenge. Doing these transfers on the wood was a really interesting idea. And I'm going to take more of these sheets of wood when we take this down tomorrow. And with the idea, maybe there would be a new floor piece or a, a, a wall hung piece, but mm -hmm. with these different sheets of wood. And so there's like a new shape with the tree kind of composition. So that's a new playful aspect. I really wanted to be kind of shaken up in my practice with this and it's definitely done that. I mean, even these drawings, when I started on them, I started on them immediately after our meetings when we are talking about the theme. And so even it, even though their works on paper like they always are, it, it is actually compositionally already different than the other pieces I've done in the past. And the past pieces were more of a, um, just kind of a figure in space, sort of like a building or a tower. This is more of a full canopy because I was thinking that my work would be kind of like the forest, the environment that Susan's structure would be inside of. So that was already a compositional challenge for me. And then there's a new challenge presented, so I have a lot of great new things to play <laughs> with coming away from this. And right. what's next for this space? Um, well, we have residencies, monthly residencies, uh, through February of 2018. And um, the next artist will start in a couple days. And uh, Susan Amorte, she's a single artist that's going to create an installation based on her work. I wanted to give them an opportunity um, to have a show and, you know, like I said, to create work differently or to think differently about their work and to move forward and evolve in what they do. Jennifer, Susan, and Christine, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Well,